What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's the most reluctant vlogger on YouTube. I'm back. One of my subscribers asked me recently, man, where's the videos been? Here's a video. Let's talk about the 240. Let's go. I just said I'm the reluctant YouTuber, the reluctant vlogger. It's kind of true, but I think I owe you an explanation. YouTube is fun to do. I love it. Uh, I wouldn't do it if I didn't, but it takes time. A surprising amount of time. It's not only like filming the videos, recording the videos, editing the videos. Sometimes it's about production or lining up with other people's schedules. And since I normally have project cars like the BMW, the 240, even some of the stuff I don't on the truck, you're on somebody else's schedule. So you might want to film and get videos out, but to make it engaging and fun, you might need to have big steps done on your project car. Besides that, honestly, sometimes you film and you get a video like I had last video, put a lot of effort and thought into it, and my autofocus wasn't working. Well, I didn't discover that until I was editing. And then you're like, well, this video's junk. Now, I put it out, then I deleted it, then I added it back because I said, hey, it's a mistake, but let the world see it. It's not a big deal, right? Somebody's going to enjoy the content. That's part of the thing about YouTube. If you ever meet another YouTuber or you know somebody, ask them how many videos they've recorded that they've never put out. I bet you it's triple, quadruple what I have. On to the shop. So here she is in all her glory. The actual over fenders and the body kit is completely fitted to the car. Actually, I think I may have knocked the piece off, but it's still working on it. But I wanted to give you guys an update. It looks so good. A lot of work left to be done, but as you can see, it's really coming together. One of the changes we decided to make is here up front. Now I may have mentioned in another video, the car looks like it was in a hailstorm of some sort. So it's dents everywhere especially on the hood. And you know, when you wrap a car, it almost like accentuates any kind of dents or fish eyes, imperfections in the paint. So I just bought a carbon hood for it. Now it's something I was considering anyway, but it really made my mind up. Instead of doing a bunch of body work on this hood, just do a carbon hood. And when you start doing carbon, it can get out of control pretty quickly. Like I said, we did a carbon hood. I actually ordered that from Sabon. And while I was on their website, I noticed they had a deck lid too. So we're doing a carbon trunk and maybe a carbon wing. And maybe some other carbon parts for the interior that are on the way too. Don't want to say yet. Uh, and I know people may say, Charles, wait, this is supposed to be a drift car. Why are you turning it into a show car? It's never going to be a show car. Not building it to be a show car. But I will admit, I only know one way to build a car. That's to make it look nice aesthetically and to run solid and perform well mechanically. So though it's gonna be primarily a drift car, it's gonna be a pretty nice drift car. So my intentions have always been to have this as more like a parade lap, cool ripper that I can also park in a show. We're looking for a seat time car right now that I can actually beat on dirt drop, do all the fun stuff with drifting and not be worried about messing it up. But this is turning into something even a little bit nicer than I planned. Let's look at these body lines and the work that the guys did. The craziest thing is we've almost replaced every panel on the car. As you can see, front bumper, all of the fenders, the rear deck lid, and the hood will now be replaced. The only thing that's gonna be left are the doors and the roof. Everything else is gonna be different or aftermarket. We might even replace the mirrors. I'm not gonna see what they're gonna be yet, but I think I'm gonna do what you guys that know. Hey, gonna need some Ganadors, just between us. Maybe let me show you the hood. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. It may have shown up a little bit when I did the paint correction video, but there's dents all over this thing. But you can see they started lining up the hood and fenders to this stock hood. They're gonna have to do a little bit more work to realign it because unfortunately, at the ninth hour, I said, hey, I wanna go to carbon. And Ted was like, don't worry about it. We got you, we'll realign it when the carbon hood comes. Should be here next week. But what they got really good here is the fenders, 
Look at this A-pillar alignment. That's something that is very difficult to do with fiberglass. And the door alignment looks like factory. Gaps are good top to bottom. They're still working on lining up the rear quarters to really focus on the front of the car first. But as you can see, there's body work that needs to be done. There's gap filling, there's alignment issues, and it takes quite a bit of time to just do over fenders and a body kit. Now the body kit's not as bad to align as the over fenders are, but it still takes quite a bit of work. But the cool thing is we're getting there, it's happening. And as you can tell, as always, I'm excited, but it takes time. And doing YouTube videos on incremental progress like this, you know, it's really just for me to show the people that watch my videos what's happening with the car and give you guys updates. But I know videos like this aren't really gonna track well on YouTube, so I don't spend a lot of time and energy on it. What I know is gonna track well on YouTube is the first drift video. I can't wait for that. So really, that's all I wanted to show you guys. I'm so happy with, with Ted EV, at AVS and Sean, the work that they're doing. I mean, unfinished. It looks so cool. And I can see the vision coming together. And uh, hopefully you'll see it soon too. Now we're gonna be at Clean Culture, I think it's May 18th. This is April 20th, April 19th. I don't think she'll be ready by then, but uh, we'll have a BMW and a couple of other cars out there. Come out and see us, say hi if you do see us there. And we do all the local drift events in Houston. So usually me and my daughter will be there and she's always cruising in her car. So if you see her, throw the peace sign, toot the horn. And shout out to everybody that watched. We appreciate you and we see you guys in the next video. Peace.